demonstrate nasogastric tube insertion. I checked the order, washed my hands, provided privacy, explained to the patient, checked the patient's ID, allergies. I've done all my prep work, including positioning the patient to my comfort and her comfort. Note that this could be a gag reflex uh, inducing procedure, so I will apply a towel to the patient's chest area, a kidney basin. It is a clean procedure, so I only need clean gloves. I will also, um, it is up to your preference, but I will apply a mask with a shield just in case there is any uh, vomiting. I've got my lubricating jelly. I'm going to apply my gloves. I prepared my water with the straw. When it comes time to use that, I will either need an assistant or I can ask the patient to hold it if they are able. Before I lubricate the tubing, I will occlude the exit uh, just in case there are any gastric uh, contents going up the tubing. Um, it will not spill and I will measure using the traditional measuring approach by the tip of the catheter to the tip of the nose to the earlobe and down to the xiphoid process of the patient. At this, this xiphoid process measures about 50 centimeters. I would tape or apply the end of my band-aid to that area and then insert it accordingly. For the purposes of this demonstration, this tubing will only go into the mannequin at about 30 centimeters. So I'll tape it there so you can see how to use the tape for the proper marking and applying it to the patient's nose. At this point, I can lubricate. <clears throat> And I do want to be quite generous in my lubrication. This is not a comfortable procedure, and don't be afraid to tell your patient exactly what to expect, even if it is discomfort. So I've determined which nair I'm going to insert the tubing, and um, I'll ask her to lean back. I will insert it. When I start feeling resistance, I can turn it. And at this point, I may, she might have some uh, gagging, uh, and I will ask her at that point to lean her chin forward and her head forward, and she will hold the water and the straw. Uh, so at this point, I would tell her to start swallowing, and as she's swallowing, I will turn and advance the catheter each time she swallows. And I will insert it to the very point of resistance. Now at this point, I have my tape. I just open up the rest of the Band-Aid. Now the foam will go to the, to the tip of the nose. That'll help with any irritation. And then I'll apply the Band-Aid. I will reinforce it with some tape across or I can also apply another band-aid. If the skin is oily, I can use an alcohol pad and gently wipe the nair or the nasal area. I can then use another band-aid and apply it to the gown or I can use tape but you do want to be careful to allow the tubing to be a little freer in movement so that's why a band-aid might um, be your preference so that way when the patient moves the head um, it doesn't pull the tubing out okay. At this point, I'll use the catheter tipped syringe 
then I will withdraw gastric contents. I can test the gastric contents on my pH strip, noting that gastric contents is less than 5.5. I'm done. I can clean up. I will chart accordingly before I use the nasogastric tube for medication, for feeding, or anything else, or apply, even applying it to suction. I'll call the doctor to make sure an order has been done to check proper placement. Thank you. <laughs>